You're not alone. We're all wondering what will change now that Ted Thompson is out and Brian Gutekinds takes over as the Packers general manager. The biggest hope among fans seems to be that Gutekinds will take a much more active approach in free agency and use all available avenues to better the Packers roster. He said yesterday he would do so. Words are words. His actions starting in March will do the real talking. But I'll tell you another change we should all hope for, and that's more accountability and a better, more honest relationship with you, the fans, built through us, the local media. During his 13 years in Green Bay, Thompson was notoriously shy when it came to speaking to reporters. And don't just take my word for it. Ed enjoys dealing with you about as much as a root canal. And that was meant to be a joke. I... <laughs> He doesn't enjoy dealing with the media. If, if he had his way, we would never uh, have any uh, interaction with the media. He wouldn't. President Murphy flashing his sense of humor there, and it's a little funny because it's true. Thompson didn't even show up at his own retirement press conference last week. He would do interviews during the preseason, as is mandated by the league, but as soon as he submitted his final cuts in early September, you wouldn't hear from him again until the NFL Combine in February. Now, that's admittedly frustrating as a reporter, but it really did cause a legitimate problem for the Packers. It forced Mike McCarthy to answer for Thompson, oftentimes about questions that are outside of his realm. There were two perfect examples just this past October. Thompson never addressed the mysterious departure of failed free agent acquisition Martellus Bennett, nor did he discuss the possibility of signing a veteran quarterback, such as Colin Kaepernick, after Aaron Rodgers got hurt. McCarthy had to answer for him. Any idea of bringing Colin Kaepernick in to that backup job? Did you just listen to the question I just answered? Okay, I got three years invested in Brett Huntley, two years invested in Joe Callahan. The quarterback room is exactly where it needs to be. Now, for what it's worth, I think McCarthy meant what he said there, but that's still not a question that he should have to answer alone. I'm sure his opinion is valued, but ultimately Thompson's the only one who could make that call, just as Gudikins now has final say on all personnel moves. Last week, Mark Murphy referred to Thompson as a quote-unquote lightning rod, and Ted's failure to address concerns like these ultimately contributed to a lot of the backlash he received from fans in his final few years as the team's GM. And that brings us back to Gudikinst. When asked yesterday about doing additional interviews and more often than Thompson, he had this to say. You know, I think I have a responsibility uh, not only to the, the team, you know, and this organization, but, you know, to the Packer fans alike. You know, I think a lot of times when, when there wasn't communication, uh, there was perception that would, and I think, you know, if we can communicate clearly, I think that'll take care of some of that. Now, that's a good answer. It's a smart answer. It's a well-thought-out answer. The best thing someone ever told me as I was coming up in sports reporting was this. You are not a fan. You are the eyes and the ears of the fans. We ask the questions you have to get the answers you need. I have the utmost respect for the Packers. I have the utmost respect for Thompson and the work he did. But to me, his misuse of the media was a missed opportunity. Gutekinds, a self-described people person, has a chance to be just as successful but much more revered if he can build on Thompson's many successes and learn from his mistakes. We'll be right back.